The medical exhibition held in the capital Hargeisa brought together key players, decision makers and professionals in the country's healthcare market. The high-level forum was presided over by the President of Somaliland, Musa B. Abdi, Somaliland's Minister of Health, Omar Ali Abdullahi and Edna Adhan, among other invited guests. <laughs> At the event, medical providers in the country showcased their products, medical supplies, pharmaceuticals and medicines. WHO representative Rogers Busulwa, who spoke at the opening of the conference, congratulated the Ministry of Health for organizing the high-level meeting. Mr. Rogers Busulwa said it's encouraging to see what Somaliland has achieved over the period of its existence. And so we really wish you great success this week and we hope that as people network together, there will be avenues found to achieve the theme that we are all working towards. We also are quite pleased to note that you have very informative evening sessions, panel discussions on matters of reproductive health, mental health, maternal and child health, drug quality control, non-communicable diseases, communicable diseases, medical ethics, medical education, very important themes. So we'd really like to congratulate the Minister of Health for the concept, and we wish you great success. Delegates from Ethiopia and Turkey were present at the first Somaliland Medical Fair and Conference. Stakeholders noted that Somaliland has reached an extensive development in the health sector. Dr. Edna Adhan Ismail appealed to the international community in her address speech to help Somaliland in the fight against cervical cancer and acute malnutrition of expectant mothers. I would like to appeal for two things that the world can help us with, that the world can teach us how to eradicate. We see an increasing number of children who are born with congenital malformations. You all know how many children are born with spina bifida. You all know how many children are born with hydrocephaly. This is a phenomenon that we are seeing in an increasing number. This is something that we should no longer see and we should eradicate like other countries in the world have eradicated or have minimized that problem. Spina bifida can be prevented. Yes, it can be cured and there is surgery, but it's expensive. Folic acid is something that every nation in the world distributes free of charge to its mothers before they get pregnant. Folic acid is inexpensive, available, proven, and must be made available for our women. They are worth as much as other mothers are worth. I am appealing for one more thing, because it's doable, and other nations do it, and other people save their women from it. Cervical cancer affects young women. A 20 year old woman, a 30 year old woman with cancer is a tragedy that we should not see in this day and age. Her sentiments were supported by the President, Musa B. Abdi, who asked the international community to help Somaliland in the fight against those diseases. <laughs> Somaliland's Medical Fair and Conference Forum, which will end on 20th November, saw over 500 professionals from across the healthcare sector in Somaliland and all over the world converge to discuss health issues in the country and the entire Horn of Africa. Eunice Deco, CBN News, Hargeisa.